Hi, I'm Judith Monroe, and this is my bathroom darkroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix up alternative process caffeinol chemistry with ingredients that you might already have at home or that are easy to get. When you mix up that chemistry, you'll then be able to process darkroom paper like this. Gonna be fun. First, I want to talk about all of the things that you're going to need. The first thing we're going to talk about needing are some trays like this that are big enough to hold the paper. You may not have fancy photo trays like that, but you might be able to find something um, like this take home, this takeout container. And you can tell that it's going to work because I can put the whole box of paper in there. So that's a pretty good sign. Um, it almost fits in these, and these are actually perfect size. So if it's a little bit smaller, that works too. Um, you'll want three trays, and important that your salt fixer tray is um, completely can be made light tight by putting something over it. So it's got to be like this uh, opaque, you can't see light through it. And you have to be able to put a cover over it like this, because um, those things are gonna have to fix for a really long time and not see the light. The next thing um, I wanna talk to you about actually are these tongs. Tongs are not um, essential, but they're really useful. Um, it just helps you keep your hands clean basically in this kind of environment. So here I'm gonna to talk to you about the different ingredients um, for the developer first. So you can see we're gonna use 12 ounces of water. We're going to use three teaspoons of sodium carbonate, also known as washing soda. If you can't find washing soda, you can also um, create sodium carbonate out of baking soda by baking that for, I wanna say like half an hour and 400 degrees. If you really need to know that, um, leave me a comment and um, I'll answer that for you. The other things you're gonna need for your developer are six teaspoons of instant coffee crystals. Um, it can be whatever brand you want. I chose the least expensive one at my local grocery store. And then lastly, you're gonna need some vitamin C powder. You can crush up vitamin C. Um, I got this on Amazon because I don't have the patience for crushing vitamin C pills. So that's what you're gonna need for your developer. For your stop bath, you're just gonna use water. Yay, tap water, very simple. And then for your salt fixer, you're going to use 16 ounces of distilled water and um, half a cup of iodized salt and a teaspoon of bleach. So mixing up the developer is really simple. We're gonna start with putting 12 ounces. I measured 12 fluid ounces. And um, you'll probably, you can find that on a regular measuring cup as well. And now we've got three teaspoons of sodium carbonate. So whenever we're measuring teaspoons, we wanna make sure it's flat. So that's one. Two, three teaspoons. I'm not going to use this to stir it because I want that to stay dry. I need six teaspoons of instant coffee crystals. One, two, three. Four, five, six. And 
finally, one teaspoon of vitamin C powder. And now, I just, this is another thing tongs are good for. I'm just going to mix it all up until I don't feel any more graininess of any of those ingredients till they're all dissolved. This has a very interesting smell, I have to tell you. Um, sort of like coffee you don't want to drink. I'm still feeling a little bit of graininess, a little bit of the stuff there, and I can kind of feel it through the tongs. That feels just about right. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to just um, measure out some water, 16 ounces of tap water. This is actually a little bit more, and really it's not a big deal. And so I'm just pouring that in here. Super easy. So mixing up the salt fixer is a little bit trickier than the other things. The first thing we wanna do is start with distilled water that's warm. So distilled water comes in a container like this. Um, 16 ounces happens to be two cups. And now I'm gonna go microwave it. So I microwaved this for about two minutes. It's um, pretty warm and I'm gonna put it into a larger container because I'm gonna have to stir and um, it's gonna be easier to stir in a larger container. So that's getting ready to stir. The next thing I want to do is I want to dissolve a half a cup of iodized salts. So just regular iodized table salt, but there's iodized and non-iodized. And a half a cup, of which there is just enough. All right, so we can see that that's flat mostly flat, okay? So that goes in here. And I'm gonna start stirring. And this can take some time. And it smells salty. It's just about all dissolved. So um, this water is way too warm for me to use right now. Um, but I really hate spending, like, it can be super long to do this with the water not warm. So this is actually making it um, take less time to mix and it's gonna sit and cool. Um, but it, it's okay because even when I'm done mixing all of this chemistry, I still have to go set up my pinhole shot, get everything ready. So I think by that point in time, this will be cool. Um, but I'm not done yet mixing up my fixer. I still have to add a teaspoon of bleach. And so, that's my teaspoon. Just a teaspoon of bleach. And put that in there. This is already wet. And I don't need this now for anything dry. And 
now that I have this all mixed up, I will pour it in my last container. Oh, and I see I have just a little bit of salt still in there that didn't quite get dissolved. So now all of my chemistry is ready to start processing. So just as a reminder, I have my caffeinol developer made with water, sodium carbonate, instant coffee, and vitamin C. Isn't it lovely? So my stop bath is just plain tap water. And then my salt fixer is distilled water that I made warm or very warm. Um, iodized salt and a teaspoon of bleach and um, just as a reminder when I'm letting things sit in there when I'm fixing I want to have a lid that keeps that all light tight so we are now one step closer to being able to produce a paper negative with our pinhole camera and process it in caffeinol alternative process chemistry. Actually making that exposure with the pinhole camera and processing it in the chemistry is the next video. Until then, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks.